This is a demonstration of the Bush record player. I'm just going to show you how to use it so that you'll be familiar with it when you receive it. When you receive it, the first thing you'll need to do is to screw down the two transit screws on the record deck located here and here and screw those all the way down fully clockwise so that the deck floats on its springs. The three main controls are here for on off volume treble bass and can be adjusted with the lid either open or with the lid closed through the slots on the side. On the deck you have the switch to start and stop here and the speed control here and size selection is automatic. There's also a queuing lever at the back if you want to use the turntable manually. So you can stack between one and six records. I'll demonstrate with two, just so that you can see how it plays. So just pop the records onto the spindle ledge and put the stacker arm across and select the appropriate speed and flick the red switch to auto to start the auto changer. And if you want to skip to the next record, just flick the red switch to the auto position again. So I'll just demonstrate with the start of a 12 inch record as well. the arm lifts off automatically when it reaches the end of the record. If you don't want to use the auto changer and you just want to play one record manually at a time, then you can just pop an individual record down the spindle onto the platter and select the manual position. And that will start the turntable turning and you can then simply place the arm onto the record yourself. You have the option to use the queuing lever if you want to or you can just place it directly onto the record like so. Once it's playing, lower the stacker arm down so that it knows to switch off automatically at the end of the record. If you leave it playing with the stacker bar left in the upright position, as pictured here, that will trigger the repeat function which is for 12 inch records only and the same 12 inch record will repeat over again until manually switched off. So I hope that covers everything for you, but if you do have any questions when you receive it, I've included my personal email address in with the machine, and please use that method to contact me.